subject of the talk for today is uh, uh, healing practice of Black Manjushri. Um, I uh, feel this practice is very important this very moment. Uh, as everybody know, we have now um, uh, there is a danger or risk of spreading uh, corona uh, virus. Uh, it's already actually spreading to the world. Um, so it could be a uh, big, big problem for whole world uh, community. Um, so uh, there are many things we trying to do. I mean, when I say we, the world community trying to uh, protect, prevent this disease. Uh, myself as a Tibetan uh, Lama, a teacher, uh, we have healing practice. We have a practice that could protect us from the disease. Um, so uh, we do have many different kinds of healing practice. Uh, for example, we have Medicine Buddha healing practice, and um, we have healing practice of Tara. We have healing practice of uh, Buddha of uh, white uh, parasol, and Tibetan word is called Dukar, and uh, so on. And one of the very uh, beneficial healing practice for uh, disease and epidemic uh, is um, Black Manjushri practice. Uh, Black Manjushri practice and the lineage come from the uh, great uh, Indian Mahasiddhas and then through the uh, great Sakyaba Lamas and Masters. And the Black Manjushri practice is one of the 13 uh, golden dharmas of Sakyaba tradition. Um, that this is, uh, this is the, uh, well known and also uh, uh, Geluk masters, my own gurus, practice Black Manjushri. I have received Black Manjushri initiation from Kyabge uh, Rungta Rinpoche, or we call him Rungta Kyamgo Rinpoche, uh, from uh, India uh, when he was uh, residing in Delhi. I received the initiation. So uh, I have been uh, practicing Black Manjushri healing and I gave initiation for many people, people who have disease like um, prostate cancer, breast cancer, uterus cancer, tumors, uh, they have been practicing. It, it was very beneficial for many people. And some people are uh, very healthy now and they don't have the uh, disease and the uh, tumors and so forth reduced it has been very beneficial. And um, so I like to uh, give some explanation how to do the Black Manjushri this time. Uh, so there's a, two ways you can do this practice. People with uh, initiation and people without initiation. And uh, people who already received initiation, then what you do is you uh, take refuge first and um, you uh, then you uh, generate bodhicitta and uh, so uh, then you do the four immeasurables um, and then you visualize yourself, uh, Black Manjushri. Uh, I will read the Tibetan word here. La Sanjita Janjusim Tsuji go and Dunji Namkar Om Benza Samanza. So you visualize yourself as a black manjushiri and then uh, at your heart uh, on the moon disk you visualize uh, black D syllable and from D syllable light emanating, uh, blue light shining to all directions, especially to the Buddha realms and inviting uh, Black Manjushri and surrounded by uh, Buddhas, uh, Bodhisattvas uh, and attendants and so forth, invite in front of you. Then you say Om Benza, uh, Samanza. 
and there's a Tibetan pronunciation in Sanskrit pronunciation is on Vajra Samaja and uh, <clears throat> then after that you um, do the uh, uh, seven limb practice so now uh, I, this this visualization is for the people who receive initiation those who, those of you don't have initiation you cannot visualize yourself as a black manjishi in order to do that you have to have initiation so uh, you can do the practice without initiation so what you do is uh, you can still invite uh, black manjushiri uh, and surrounded by Buddhas and Bodhisattva in front of you after taking refuge. So first you, you take refuge, then you imagine uh, all the black manjushiri surrounded by all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva are uh, in front of you. Uh, they are here in, fr in front of you in the beautiful sky. Then both person who receive initiation or who, without initiation, they do the seven limb, seven limb practice. Uh, so seven limb practice. First you do prostration, then offering, declaration, uh, rejoicing, requesting teachings, uh, requesting the Buddhas remain with us, and then you do dedication. So here is the Tibetan word. Gosum gube gone chak nusha you do choba malimbo. Uh, so that's the Tibetan word. And so here, I prostrate, uh, my, I'm going to translate the seven limb prayers. I prostrate to um, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas uh, and uh, Black Manjushri as a principle. I prostrate by my body, speech, and mind. And then you say, I make offerings, uh, uh, actual offerings that you have on the altar or imaginary offerings. I make offerings to Black Manjushri and all the Buddhas. And I declare my non-virtuous actions that I have uh, committed in the past. And I would like to rejoice uh, Dharma realizations, Dharma practice of other, others. And I would like to request Black Manjushri and uh, the Buddhas mm, and Bodhisattva give me blessings and teachings and I also re request them remain with me in front of me as an object of my refuge, object of my request, object of my prayer and uh, blessings and protections. And then you, uh, the last thing, seven link practice is dedication. So you dedicate this practice uh, for all sentient beings Particularly, uh, you dedicate this practice for uh, stop the corona virus spreading, and uh, and also I dedicate this practice to find vaccination medicine as soon as possible, and so that we can help those people who are suffering from the disease, and also it will reduce this disease and it will stop spreading. So you dedicate this practice for for that reason, and uh, <clears throat> and now uh, there is more practice I will in, uh, talk about, and uh, so now this is the actual healing practice. Those of you who don't have initiation, what you do is visualize Black Manjushri in front of you. First, you say the Sanskrit word Om Sabhava Shuddha Sarva Dharma <coughs> Sabhava Shuddha Hong. Don't buy into it. Everything becomes voidness. Uh, voidness and emptiness, interdependent and emptiness. And then in front of you, vast space, there you visualize a uh, letter PAM, seed cell of a PAM. On top of the PAM, you visualize, uh, uh, sorry, the PAM transform into a uh, lotus flower. On the top of the PAM syllable, uh, I mean, uh, top of the lotus uh, flower, lotus cushion, you visualize a syllable. A syllable transform into a uh, moon disk. On top of the moon disk, the moon disk is uh, horizontal. On top of the moon disk, you visualize black <coughs> D syllable and um, B D syllable. And uh, in Tibetan word, we say tingna. Tingna is a black kind of, but more like brownish, black and brownish uh, D syllable and light emanating, blue light emanating. 
and then the light goes out to all directions and cardinal directions, intermediate directions, and direction up and low, below, everywhere. It reaches all sentient beings and purifies unwholesome karmas, obscurations, disease, obstacles, and everything. And then light come back and light return, return to in front of you, then you visualize uh, Black Manjushri in front of you. So there are actually two images of Black Manjushri. One is uh, peaceful, one is uh, wrathful one. Um, this image on my left side is Black Manjushri, is a wrathful one. He is standing, as you see, standing on the lotus and uh, sun cushion. And he has a blue color, he has three eyes, and he's a wrathful, uh, right hand. He's holding the sword in his right hand, wisdom uh, sword. So this sword is the one that cuts delusions, karma, suffering, and disease. And, uh, and uh, also you think about it. this sword will cut the disease, disease and um, it will stop disease. And then in his left hand, he's holding text. Uh, usually, Manjushri is holding text in his left hand on the lotus flower, which is uh, Prajna Paramita Sutra. And, uh, but this time, you could imagine uh, Black Manjushri is holding a text that is a healing text and teachings of Black Manjushri. And he's wearing beautiful jewel ornaments and uh, earrings, necklaces, and also he's wearing a uh, tiger skin loin cloth. Okay, so you visualize wrathful Black Manjushri. <clears throat> Sometimes wrathful is necessary to visualize that we have wrathful deities and peaceful deities in Tibetan Buddhist tradition. We have wrathful Dharma protectors. We have uh, peaceful Dharma protectors. So they both have a different, serves a different purpose. A wrathful is necessary, especially when there's urgent and uh, uh, at this moment, for example, uh, corona virus is spreading. So we need sort of very powerful, when, when you say wrathful means powerful energy, right? To, to encounter and uh, to, uh, as an uh, uh, antidote and opponent power, we visualize wrathful. Uh, black Manjushri. So, and then you have option also, you can visualize peaceful Black Manjushri, which is actually uh, look like very much like uh, orange Manjushri or Manjushri Arapata. And only difference is a uh, color is different, uh, uh, black color. And But also there is a wisdom fire, flame shining behind his crown, behind his head, behind his body. So the peaceful Black Manjushri is sitting, not standing, sitting and uh, on the lotus and moon cushion. He's a black color and very peaceful and uh, slightly uh, wrathful. In other words, peaceful, but he's got a small kind of wrathful uh, expression, slightly. Uh, not really wrathful, but I should say more uh, firm series kind of looking, right? And he's wearing beautiful jewel ornaments, earrings, necklaces, and uh, upper garments, silk garments, lower garments, and black manjushri, peaceful one. So sometimes it is beneficial to visualize peaceful one because uh, people who have problems, health problems, and they're not very peaceful. They have a lot of trauma and pain. They have uh, um, fear and, uh, and so forth. They need a peaceful one. And some people need wrathful because they also have a trauma. So it uh, depends on the situation, depends on the person, you know, uh, depends on you. Sometimes you need peaceful uh, guru and uh, sometimes you need wrathful guru and uh, sometimes you need both. And uh, both are very um, uh, helpful. And, uh, and if you have peaceful guru, wrathful guru, you are very fortunate. And if you are peaceful Yidam deity and wrathful Yidam deity, you are fortunate. And uh, all they're doing, the intention and the purpose is to 
help you to uh, liberate you, uh, liberate all, all sentient beings. That's the reason. So, so now, those of you who haven't received initiation, you visualize Black Manjushri in front of you. Visualize uh, on their crown, visualize white arm syllable at throat, visualize uh, <coughs> red eye syllable at the heart, visualize a blue hung and uh, dark blue D. So in, the, in this case, what you do is you visualize small um, dark blue D inside the circle above the home, inside the circle above the home. And then uh, recite uh, the mantra. Uh, well, actually you can make offering here. It makes kind of a little bit longer here. Long, you can make offering. You say, Arya Manjushiri Sabara Vare Argam Patisam Soha Omaya Manjushiri Sabara Padim Patisam Soha Omaya Manjushiri Sabara Vare Pupe Patisam Soha no, Pupe Patisam Soha Omaya Manjushiri Sabara Vare Dupe Patisam Soha Omaya Manjushiri Arya Manjushiri Sabara Vare Aluge Patisam Soha Omaya Manjushiri Sabara Vare Gende Patisam Soha Omaya Manjushiri Sabara Vare Nevende Patisam Soha Omaya Manjushiri Sabara Vare Shabda Patisam Soha offering. Okay, and uh, and then you recite the mantra of uh, Manjushri. Okay, and uh, so the Manjushri, this is Black Manjushri mantra. It's a long one. Om Ta Se Chu Se Durta Se Durme Se Ningola Che Kalanza Gam Sham Dam Be Pe Soha. Um, I will say three times. This is the tradition. Om Ta Se Chu Se Durta Se Durme Se Ningola Che Kalanza Kam Sham Tam Be Pe Soha. I will say one more time. Usually we say three times. Om Ta Se Chu Se Durta Se Turume Se Ningola Che Kalanza Kam Sham Tam Pe Pe Soha Now I will slowly uh, chant the mantra Om Da Se Che Se Durta Se Durme Se Nyingola Che Kalanza Kam Sham Tam Bebe So Om Da Se Che Se Durta Se Durme Se Nyingola Che Kalanza Kam Shantam Bebe So Om Da Se Che Se Durta Se Durme Se Nyingola Che Kalanza Kam Shantam Bebe So Om Da Se Che Se Durta Se Durme Se Ingola Che Kalanza Kam Shantam Bebe So Om Da Se Che Se Durta Se Durme Se Ningola che kalanza kansham tam bebe so Om da se che se tata se tame se Ningola che kalanza kansham tam bebe Om Da Se Che Se Te 
mantra and uh, it doesn't have many different kinds of melodies and um, and also uh, when you feel like chanting this, so you can do chant this way uh, most of the time you say the mantra quietly according to the mantra rule is one should not say the mantra too lo fast and uh, one must not say the mantra too quiet and one must not say the mantra too loud and also one must not say the mantra too slow and so always has to balance and uh, basically you say the properly say every word pronounce it and uh, that's very important and you can perhaps hear yourself but not others and um, Sometimes, some case, it is good to chant, uh, you know, in front of somebody or somebody is very sick. It, it could be very inspi inspirational. So it is up to you. It depends on the condition. Now, I'd like to say a few words about those of you, those of you who, who received initiation before, then you can visualize yourself as a uh, black manjushiri uh, for your own healing your own protection. Uh, you can also do visualize yourself as a black manjushiri for uh, healing for others and uh, somebody else sick and the gods suffering, you know. So what do you do is, you, before you visualize yourself as a manjushiri, black manjushiri, you have to say the Sanskrit word, Om Sobhava Shuddha Sarva Dharma Sobhava Shuddha Ham uh, and uh, uh, so on in Tibetan. So Om Sobhava Shuddha, which is the Sarvadama Sobhava Shuddha, this is Sanskrit mantra for uh, establishing mind of, of wisdom, uh, I mean the wisdom, the realization of uh, Shunyata. Om Sobhava means nature, uh, Shuddha is emptiness, Sarvadharma is all phenomena, Sobhava again nature, nature, Shuddha, Shuddha Hum. So, Basically, what it means is um, Om Sobhava, all the nature of all phenomena is empty of uh, inherent existence. And the and phenomena never been exist inherently in the past, in the present, or the future. And the phenomena is, the true nature of phenomena is emptiness. What that does, that does not mean nothingness. Actually, emptiness means uh, oneness and wholeness. And it's all interconnected, interdependent. You say the mantra, uh, Sanskrit mantra, Om Sabhava Shuddha Sarva Dharma Sabhava Shuddha Ham, everything becomes voidness, right? Then uh, your consciousness as a black D syllable, and then light emanates, light goes out to ten directions and heal all sentient beings, their sufferings and disease, particularly uh, like virus, like a coronavirus, and, uh, and uh, stop spreading and purify. And then light return back to the D syllable, black D syllable, which is my mind. Then I become myself. Instant and usually I become black manjushiri. This time peaceful one, sitting on lotus and moon cushion. I got a, a black color on, or a dark blue. One face, two hands. I'm wearing beautiful jewel ornaments and silk dresses and crown ornaments, earrings, necklace and so on and so forth. And I'm holding wisdom sword in the right hand. 
and left hand I'm holding the uh, flower, lotus flower, a bluish lotus flower. On the top of the lotus flower, there's a Prajnaparamita Sutra. So this is healing sutra. And now how does a Prajnaparamita Sutra is healing? Because, of pra because Prajnaparamita is a perfection of wisdom. We need wisdom. And this is why uh, when you ha have realization of wisdom, it heals, heals ignorance, right? And a lot of the disease caused by ignorance and lack of hygiene and um, um, poverty, uh, hunger, and uh, too many people, and so on and so forth. Poverty and ignorance and disease cause uh, lack of hygiene, cause uh, illness. So if, when you have wisdom, then you uh, know what to do, what to, how to prevent disease, how to protect oneself. Anyway, so this is why you have the sword of uh, uh, is uh, sword on the right side, and uh, ho I mean Manjushri is holding the sword in his right hand, left hand on the lotus there is the Prajna Paramita text, and now uh, you visualize after you visualize yourself as a Manjushri, you visualize white Om letter on the crown, red R letter at throat, blue Hum at letter at the heart, the blue Hum, and then on the top of the Hum. There's a circle, inside the circle, you visualize uh, black uh, D syllable. Then you say the mantra, okay? And um, if you make offerings, that's fine. Uh, if you have time, you say Om Arya Manjushri Sabaravari Argam Padim Pushpe Pushpe Dupe Aloke Gande Nevende Shabda Padacham So I'll do the mudra again. This is a Kriya Tantra mudra. Om Arya Manjushri Sabarava Argam Padiyam Pushpe Dupe Aloke Gande Nevinde Shabda Pratisam Soha. The mudras of higher tantra, uh, Anuttara Yoga Tantra, and the lower tantra are different. The four of them are different. Anyway, so you do the offering, then you say the mantra, okay, of Manjushri. I, uh, Black Manjushri, I will say it again. Om Ta Su Chu Su Durta Su Durme Su Ningola Chu Kalanza Kam Sham Tam Be Pe Soha Om Ta Su Chu Su Durta Su Durme Su Ningola Chu Kalanza Kam Sham Kam Bebe So Om Da So Chu So Tu Da So Turme So Yingola Chu Kalanza Kam Sham Kam Bebe So Om Da So Chu So Tu Da So Turme So Yingola Chu Kalanza, kam sham dam bebe so. After you recite the mantra, then you say Vajrasattva mantra. Uh, Om Vajrasattva Samaya Manbalai Vajrasattva Dinova Tishta Dira Meva Sutokai Meva Supokai Meva Anaradu Meva Sarva Siddhi Meva Yes Sarva Karma Sutta Meva Sinam Shina Yikura Yaha Ha 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 Ho Banga Sarva Tathanga Le Vajir Mami Mande Vajir Bhava Ma Samaya Sato Ahom Pei You say the mantra, Vajrasattva mantra once. And then at the very end, uh, you uh, could make offering, uh, Dharma offering, uh, to uh, Black Manjushri. You imagine Black Manjushri, uh, Manjushri is in front, right? You already visualize, you have Torma on the altar, you open the Torma. Um, then you uh, say, Oma Ahu, Oma Ahu, uh, <coughs> Oma Ahu, you do bless, bless the Torma. Omvajra Amnita Kundalihana and the home by Oma Soba, which is the South of so from in front of you, in the state of voidness, there's a big vessel. Inside the vessel, there's a torma, which is an offering cake and the sweets and so forth. 
with the beautiful color, beautiful taste, beautiful smell, and the nature of great wisdom, uh, ocean of wisdom, then, then you bless. And now you offer to Black Manjushri. Uh, <clears throat> you imagine Black Manjushri is taking the essence of Torma offering. Om, Om Manjushri, uh, Kala, Ya, Om Akaro Mukam Sarva Dharma Nama, Adi Nibi Natu De Nama, uh, Adi Nibi Natu De Om Aung Pei Soha. Uh, you say three times. I will say again Om Manjushri, uh, Kala, Ya, Om uh, Akaro Mukam Sarva Dharma Nama, Adi Nibi Natu De uh, Om Aung Pei Soha, Om Manjushri, Kala, Ya. Agaro Mukha Sarva Dharma Nam Adi Nibi Nato Te Oma Ahong Pe Soha three times. Then you say Om Manjishiri Kalaya Saparavare Argam Badin Pushpe Dupe Aloke Gande Nevende Shabda Badisan Soha to some Sanjay Tamjin Shinzi Nibi Ngoni Dula Mudum Chotu Yidam Lala Shalsalo. I posted it to Yidam Deity, Black Manjushri, who is the embodiment of wisdom of all the Buddhas, uh, also uh, uh, embodiment of compassion of all the Buddhas. And I, I pray, I make supplications, please bless me and uh, uh, bestow blessings upon me. That, yeah, so that's the Dharma offering. And then after that, you do uh, dedication. You dedicate the merit of this practice. Uh, for the benefit of uh, all sentient beings. Okay, thank you.